Hey guys, Chunky1996 and I'm showing you today the tools I use in my bushcraft. The first one, which I've got, is my buck saw, which was shown to me by Mr. Canterbury. Uh, that's from the Pathfinder School. That's, this is a really good tool. I used a hacksaw blade for this because I couldn't find any buck saws at Bunnings or Dalsons, so I didn't have that. Uh, this, is, this actually takes down and falls into pieces. Uh, the one that David Canterbury shows you, you get this part here, he takes most of you apart. I've got this fold down and I've only got to take it out into a couple of parts. Alright, that folds in like this, comes down. That's the fold down saw. Right, that's the first part. Second, my hatchet. I bought this from Bunnings for $10. Uh, you can buy, if you want a longer one, you can buy a handle that fits into this. Uh, so it will be $10 for that and $15 for an extra handle. So it, it's not that bad. I sharpen this up. I've got two stones for it. I have this stone here and the other stone. Right. Second, K-Bar Styled Knife. I bought this from Global Gear uh, off eBay uh, from out of Sydney for $45, including postage. Good knife. Right, next, I keep a permanent marker for drawing out on my wood when I'm carving, spare blade for the saw, a 4-in-1 file, these are fantastic, I, you can buy these from Bunnings and Dalsons, you can get them even cheaper off the internet, anyway. Right, my utensils with foil, most of the tools here we're showing were recommended, are recommended by the Pathfinder program, uh, these they're all fantastic videos. You'll learn so much from a hot glue with a lighter. I carry super glue. That's when I'm doing parts like that. The other stone, which is in a lot worse condition, uh, that I use for sharpening my axe. A finer stone for sharpening my blades. And this is a blade that fits into my vice grips. Caught on a bit there. So she'll clamp down onto the blade, and I've got another saw which I can use. Right. Two different grits of sandpaper. I can use that one generally for wood carving, that one goes in the end of my knife to really get them to a skinny knives and stuff. Uh, they're just super glued onto a um, super glued round. You can still take them in and out and stuff, I've got the doubt. This one's super glued onto it. Uh, just emery paper and I think it's 80 grit. Alright. Why saw. This wasn't recommended by everyone, I thought I'd just put it in there just in case anything breaks. Backups for backups. It wasn't very heavy, so this is worth having in there. So, I'll fold this all back up, it goes in here. Next two things I carry, oh, one thing, I already have super glue, is a razor blade. I generally, I've got a couple in there for skinning. Also, buy a stainless steel one if you have the chance, uh, then I won't rust off on you. Uh, they, these here I use for um, skinning and cutting feathers and arrows. Right. Just rolls up in my chamage. You can use a bandana want to. Right. And that fits my pack. Wait, this isn't too light either. This weighs about almost a kilo. So that's that's pretty hot light when it comes to tools. That's not including the axe and the hatchet. Right. The next things which I use, which you'll see on my wrist, is my Swiss Army knife. This here has a small sort of version of everything. It has your blade and a saw, which I use all the time. That fits neatly under my two survival bracelets, which you buy for seven dollars each from Ozzy Disposals. Pull them down, and sort of the handle on this, when you sweat, sort of sticks to you, and that sits nicely just underneath there, and that doesn't come off. You can shake it around; it's just fine. I use that in nearly everything I do. I, got, I keep the blade on that sharp because I can use that for skinning and all those sorts of things. Another tool you might bring is your cotton that used for well, you're making your shelters and all that, but you can use it for making lantern, lanterns, as I've shown in a couple of videos. I uh, carry that, citronella oil, and shell light. These are just the bigger bottles, I, don't, I carry them in a lot smaller form. Bush tucker, I carry mixed herbs and chili peppers, just adding taste. And another big thing I want to show you guys is a crook knife. These are used for carving out spoons, Bowls, everything that really needs a 
a notch taken out or anything like that because the hook at the bottom lets you gouge out things. Now, what I, I went to my local horse shop, I asked for a hoof knife. It cost me $8.50. I got home, whipped out the blowtorch, heated him up, got it over the antel, antel, big block, and banged it with the hammer, and I made it to my own hook knife. So a lot of people say you'll wreck the steel and all that. It works just fine. That's why I use the um, round emery paper on this so I can sharpen it because you can't use a flat stone because it hooks at the end. This works fantastic. Loving. It's a wonderful knife. Always worth the keep in your kit. That's all I use guys for doing all my other stuff. I try not to use vices unless I'm making something that isn't for survival um, because that's just using something which you need to practice using without. So there is a trick sticking at the joint of your leg so just underneath the knee and then sitting on that leg. So sort of when you sit, not cross-legged, but with your knees underneath you. Uh, that works really well for holding your um, things that you're going to cut or sharpen. So thanks for watching. They just the rundown of the tools which I use in the, sh in the video.